just brilliant. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jake Makes. Not really. Actually, I'm going to be trying something a bit different today. As you probably noticed by the thumbnail and title of this video, for a while now I've been trying to think of a way to make videos that are a little bit different than my usual project videos for several reasons. Number one, because I have so many ideas that never make it to an actual project or haven't at this stage, and I feel like there should be a way to make videos about those ideas even though they're not actually projects yet. I also have a number of projects right now that I'm in the process of building or making, but I'm like in the prototyping stage, such as what I'm going to be talking about today. This is a prototype of a project I'm not ready to start on right now, but I really want to do one day, and I, it's, it's a just a brilliant idea, which is why this series I'm start... Stop moving, rabbit. I need to move the camera. You're like resting up against the cage the rabbit's in right now. Why there are rabbits in the shop is another. I'm going to enjoy eating these rabbits. Which is why I'm going to be calling this series of videos just brilliant. Is that a cool like phrase to say at the beginning of every episode? Brilliant. 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 I totally lost what I was going to say. Another reason I'm starting this series is because for a while now I really wanted to bring more like community into the YouTube channel and the videos I'm making. And right now I'm taking like project suggestions from you guys. And like that kind of works a little bit, but not really. Because in the end I'm building stuff that I want to build. And if you suggest something that I want to build, then like, cool, I'll do that too. Like, if it piques my interest. Anyway, I have this really great idea for this series, though. I don't have a setup right now, but I'm going to have, like, an email setup where you guys can email me brilliant ideas that you have. Just concepts for projects or weapons or, like, just, just brilliant ideas you have that you really think other people need to know about. That's what I'm going to be sharing on these videos. Just brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> ideas that I have, and I want you guys to send me your brilliant, to send me your brilliant ideas that you have, so we can all share ideas and benefit from them and get new ideas, and it'll just be, be really, like, brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an email set up, and in the next brilliant video that I make, I will tell you guys that email so you can send me your brilliant ideas, like pictures of a project that you think is just brilliant, a concept you think is brilliant, a maybe a concept or project you want to see me build that you think is brilliant that I should try. Stuff like that. If it's brilliant, I will take your idea and make a video about it and share that brilliant idea. And it'll just be a great way of sharing brilliant ideas. So, on to today's subject. This is a brilliant prototype I have for a spring-loaded tonfa, which you guys know what tonfas are. It's those funny-looking sticks with a handle on the side that go on your forearm that, like, ninjas use for some silly reason because they're, kind of, they're not amazing weapons, really. They're more of, like, defense... They're, it's a blunt force weapon, and blunt force weapons, unless it's a giant mace or something, they're not super effective. They're more for, like, law enforcement when they don't want to use real weapons, or... Uh, I'm not crazy about them. So the idea is, you have a giant knife blade mounted onto your tonfa, but that's not quite cool enough because then you just have a blade on your tonfa, which is better than just a plain old tonfa. But what if that thing was spring-loaded, so that, I don't have it spring-loaded yet, it's a prototype, remember, so that when you went like this and pushed your arm out and like flicked a switch or something, boom, boom, you have a blade that extends and then locks in place. This one doesn't lock in place, it's just a prototype. Uh, 
Brilliant. Prototype. Tell me that's not brilliant. I, it just the cool factor is amazing me right now. Like I just can't, I can't get over how cool this is. Just, <sighs> you can block like a shield opponent's weapons on your arm. Then of course you also have the blade that you can block, parry, stab with. Theoretically, you'd want two of them because that's the way tonfas are used. You really need two of them to be able to block because unlike having a sword in your hand, you don't have much motion. Basically, you're restricted to this. And it's very difficult if you only have one to block enemy blows. I just figured this out in practicing with this a little bit. Mainly that's because there's no guard. If you have two of them, however, that problem is gone. Block a blow here, he comes around the other side. Instead of having to somehow turn and do this, which is not going to work, you then just swing your other one, block, and then while you've engaged the sword there, you stab him in the face. What's so brilliant about this, I think, is its simplicity. This is literally just a blade screwed onto a drawer glide. Like, it's so simple. Of course, I'm gonna have to design a trigger mechanism for it and then attach some rubber or a spring or something to get it to be spring-loaded, but I can totally do that, and you can totally do that too. Just how simple this is. I made this in five minutes. This prototype, I made in five minutes, and... <laughs> I really want to build one. I want to build one so bad. I mean, forget about the Assassin's Creed hidden blade. This is like way beyond, man. So, to make a real one, I would have the blade come all the way down to here. This is just a wooden blade for those of you who are wondering. I would have the blade come from here all the way over to here. I would extend it longer. The piece of wood was too short. I would then figure out a way to lock it in the open position. You would have to lock it using this slider because they both slide and to lock it in the open position most easily you'd want to lock this one so watch boom lock neither of them move if you lock say this one then the top one would be able to move and then you'd have to lock that one so you'd want to lock this one obviously that makes the most sense i'm sure i can figure out a way to do that then you just have a release and you can push it back in the strap is easy to attach Handle is easy to attach because it's got holes already drilled in there for mounting it to a drawer. Attach some rubber or a spring to it connected uh, to the back part right here. Then a simple trigger mechanism would do the trick. Uh, how would you do it? You need a lever like to come up where you could like maybe disengage it with your pinky or something. Or maybe you could do it where like it's a motion lever where if you sling it back, it disengages, and then it would pop out. That could work. I've seen some guys do something like that. These drawer glides. I am absolutely loving these drawer glides right now. I have so many ideas for how to use drawer glides for spring-loaded blades now. You know that sword from How to Train Your Dragon 2? Hiccup's fire sword that like extends and then lights on fire? I've been wanting to make one of those. I was thinking just to do a fire sword, but now that I've seen these, like, I could make a shootout fire sword. That's another brilliant idea right there. All right guys, well that is today's <laughs> idea. Hopefully you like this video. I'm excited for this new series. Like and subscribe, how am I gonna go through all that? You know the drill, like and subscribe the video, share it if you feel like it's something that should be shared and all that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Yep, I'm not gonna say it. I have to. Jake out.